So in this video, I want to show you how I get my stencils prepared on my tablet. Um, I want to go through some pros and cons of the tablet that I have, and I wanna let you know if it's worth it if you're a tattoo artist or somebody that just likes to do art in general to buy this. Uh, but here are some stencils that I make with my tablet. Oh, there's so many. Okay, so today I want to talk about this, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 with the S Pen. Uh, I wanna talk about how it works for me as a tattoo artist to uh, prepare my stencils and designs for my clients. Um, I wanna go through some pros and cons of it. Uh, but first, I want to tell you some of the specs that were good for me, uh, the reason that I bought it. This tablet has a 9.7 inch screen, so it's not huge, but it's not super small. It's not like one of those little Kindle fires, but it's not massive, which I like because I could just put it in my backpack. It has the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, unlike iPhones that have that really stupid dongle or whatever, so you can plug in your headphones and charge at the same time. Um, it has the USB type C charger, so if you have already a Samsung cell phone, like I do, I have the Galaxy S8, um, you don't need three different chargers, well, two different chargers, cell phone and a tablet. You don't need two different chargers in order to uh, charge both of them. They're both the same USB type C. It has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it has a micro SD slot that goes up to 256 gigabytes. Um, so this one, I think the memory that comes with it is 32 gigabytes, but you can have an expandable memory, which is good. Um, and it also comes with the S Pen, so you don't have to buy it. <clears throat> but I will have to warn you, I did have to recently buy a new S Pen because this little nib, or the tip, it broke off. And when it breaks off, you're not able to pull it out to replace it. Um, I don't know why they made it breakable or whatever, but if you do get this, make sure that you change this nib every like month or two, or you're gonna end up buying a new S Pen. I even took it apart with a pocket knife and I still couldn't get this out because it broke off right at the base. But let's get into the pros, the things that I really like about this tablet, uh, that it comes with the S Pen. I don't have to buy anything else. I just bought this whole entire package and it came with it. Speaking of buying things, the price point of this is around $550 if you just go to any normal store like Best Buy or Walmart or something. But I found this on eBay off of one of like, I guess the more professional eBay stores. The box was damaged, but the product inside was totally fine. So Samsung, I guess, sells off things that have damaged box, boxes, box? Things that have damaged boxes to other companies and then those companies sell them at a discounted price. So I bought this off of eBay for $379.99. Uh, so it was quite a discount. So I mean, do your shopping around, find one for cheaper if you want. If not, 550 isn't so, so bad for an art tablet. I already said about the USB, it's great because it's compatible with my phone. So what I do is I edit all these videos on my phone or my tablet. So I just take the SD card out of my camera and I put it into a SD card reader, I guess that would be a call. And there's a converter that goes USB to USB-C, goes right in and you can even put 4K in here and it works. So that's cool. Another thing that I really like about this tablet is there are apps that are free, obviously in the app store that you can draw on and you can prepare your stencil uh, stencils in for free. Um, you can buy apps like I bought Artflow. It's $5, I think, straight out. You don't have to pay monthly for it. Um, I think it was five bucks. But it, it's really good that it unlocks extra brushes and effects that you can do. But I also got, what is this? Autodesk Sketchbook. That's totally free and there's a bunch of different things that you can do just like an Artflow. I feel like Artflow has more of a wide variety of things that you can use and the options in Artflow are better for me. So that's why I spent the five bucks. Um, but you can get away with not using uh, the bot version 
or the bot version, the paid for version, um, you can use just the free version if you want. Another pro that I found with this is it has a really long battery life. It's great for, you know, you charge it overnight, well, not even overnight, it takes like two hours to charge. Um, and you can just take it out all day and use it at work, on the go, whatever. I'm always playing music on it while I'm tattooing. So I'm streaming the music from this to a Bluetooth speaker. And I mean, sometimes I'll have it plugged in, but most of the time it's just sitting on my desk and it never just dies very quickly. It, normally lasts all day playing music and also drawing and watching way too many YouTube videos and Hulu late at night when I should be sleeping. All right, so let's move on to some of the cons of this tablet that I found to be just annoying or, well, nothing's deal breaking. I like it a lot still, even though all these things are cons. But if you zoom into a detailed area of a picture that you are you know, say you're tracing a picture of a rose or whatever. You zoom into a, uh, a certain spot on it and you go to do the lines, but when you're doing the lines, it just looks like a little bunch of little pixelated boxes instead of just a solid line. At first it was annoying, now I don't even notice it and I actually kind of like it because if I do too thick of a line in one place, I can zoom in a lot with an eraser and just start erasing certain boxes. But then once you print it out, it all comes out as solid lines. So if it's a deal breaker for you that on the tablet, sometimes things are pixelated when you're drawing, uh, if you zoom in, um, maybe this tablet isn't for you, but it's really not a big deal. It's just, I'm nitpicking at this point. I did break my S Pen, like I said earlier, and a new S Pen is $63. So don't break your S Pen. I think this is the biggest con out of all of the cons that I have. On the left side of the screen, like over here, this whole strip right here, if I'm not using the pen at a perfect angle like this, if I'm a little tilted, it will make my line not go where the tip of this is going. So like I'll be drawing a really nice line, but it is not going exactly. It, it'll be like a centimeter off which is incredibly annoying. And I don't know why it picks it up like that because anywhere else on the tablet, I can use any type of angle like this with the pen and it just works fine. But as soon as I get over to this side of the tablet, it kind of just bugs out and doesn't work. So, I mean, all you do to fix that is move your picture over a little bit. So then you're drawing more towards the middle of the screen, which is fine but it's kind of annoying that you're spending so much money and just that part of the screen does that. I think that's my biggest con. Oh, and along with that whole situation, the other con that I don't like is the S Pen button. I'm always hitting it when I'm drawing. I just have you know a grip on my pen and my finger always ends up hitting this. And the program that I use, it doesn't have a functionality. So all it does is bring up the S Pen menu, which is really annoying because I'll be drawing and here comes a menu that has nothing to do with what I want to do. Or it'll go to change the color of my brush stroke, which is also annoying because I want a certain color that I'm using. So, I mean, I, I don't know. It's not a deal breaker, it's obnoxious. And then one more con, the palm rejection is not the best. So. What I mean by that is when I'm going to draw a line instead of planting my palm and then bringing the pen to the tablet to draw my line or color or whatever. What I end up having to do is getting my pen close enough for the tablet to recognize that I'm going to use the pen and then put my palm down. But if I don't do that a lot of the times, it'll spaz out and like either zoom really far in or zoom really far out. So I have to be careful to bring my pen close enough to the tablet for it to recognize it and then put my palm down, which also isn't a deal breaker, just like these other cons that I'm telling you about. It's just obnoxious until you get used to it. And even when you're in a hurry doing things, it could be frustrating to me because it's like, stop zooming. And then it starts zooming and then I get worked up and I get cry and I ball up on the floor and I'm, all, I'm just unresponsive for the rest of the day. But 
that is my review. Overall, I will say that this tablet and this case that I bought from Amazon for like $10 is very worth it. Um, so both of them for under 400 bucks for a tablet that I'm able to draw, you know, get all my stencils ready, um, paperless and pencilless, so I don't have to worry about breaking my lead and paper and pencils be gone. Thank you, tablet, for making my job easier. If you're a tattoo artist or any artist of any kind, I highly recommend a tablet. I highly recommend this tablet. I, there are definitely better ones out there. I just haven't tried any of them. I just, this was my budget, so this is what I spent. If you're looking to spend under 500 bucks or a little bit over 500 bucks, the Galaxy Tab S3 is for you. Or maybe another tablet's for you, I don't know. But thank you for listening. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and all that other stuff that us YouTubers beg for. Thanks for watching, bye.